My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems dealing with the notion of division of decimals and today is our lesson number 17 please turn to page number 13 on page number 4, 13 you will see some sample problems we did the first three yesterday today we'll do number 4 and 5 sample problems number 4 56.2 divided by 0.2 56.2 divided by 0.2. Let's see what we can do. Shall we? Before we get going with the problem here, before we get going with the problems, and before I completely forget it, as you can see there are only 10 sample problems there, and 10 problems there is not enough in my opinion. If you feel the same way, and if you feel that you need more practice, there are some more videos that you can watch. Here's T's, just type in T's Math Day 8 and Day 9, watch those two videos. The math on the T's is very similar to what you will encounter on the HESI. There is not much difference at all. Similarly, if you need more practice, there is a series labeled Basic Math right here. Basic Math, day 1 through 2. Well, it says 200, but you don't have to go all the way up to 200. Up to 100 should suffice. Particularly, the videos that you want to watch are 54, 55, and 56, which deal with the notion of division of decimal. This video will teach you how to divide one decimal, one number involving decimal with, by another number, and here are some divisibility rules. Divisibility rules is what you have to know in order to figure out which number is divisible by what. It makes the process go faster. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. 56.2 can be written as 562 over 10. Because if you were to take 562 and divide by 10, what we'll have, what we'll have on our hand is 56.2. So that takes care of that part. Similarly, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 can be written as 2 over 10. 0.2 can be written as 2 over 10 and we are to divide these quantities so we have one fraction which is being divided by another fraction and we know that when we have to divide one fraction by other fractions we can convert the division problem into a simple multiplication problem by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction so 562 562 over 10 times 2 over 10 we have converted the division problem into a multiplication problem by simply taking the reciprocal. The rest is very simple. That is not the reciprocal. What the hell is the matter with me? This is this is how we make mistake. You see, two over ten becomes ten over two. How did I catch myself? I caught myself because this ten is supposed to kill that ten. This ten is supposed to knock out that ten. We can divide top and bottom by ten, and these two ten are going to kill each other. They're gone. All we have to do is divide 562 by 2. 562, 562 divided by 2, which is very simple. Let's do it. How many 2's does 5 have? 5 has 2 2's. 5 has 2 2's. The remaining one goes and joins the 6 and becomes 16. The remaining one goes and joins the 6 and be becomes 16, and 16 has 8 2's. How many 2's does this 2 have? Two, this 2 has 1 2 also, and that's it. Since we divided the top by 2, we must divide the bottom by 2, divide the bottom by 2, the 2 goes away. If you want, you can write down 1 here, but it doesn't serve any purpose. 281 divided by 1 is still 281. The answer is 281. Let's do the next one, shall we? Now, if you're having trouble seeing what I just did here, and if you want to get some practice, if you want to get better at being able to divide the numbers like that without doing the long division, because long division gets to be very tedious, very tiring, very annoying, and very, very time consuming. You, you must learn how to use division, how to do your division like a grown up person, not like a baby. If you want to learn that, I'm going to give you some videos here that you can watch. There are five videos where we do, which are labeled as division quizzes. There are five quizzes in the series of basic math from 1 through 100. If you, if you do those five, if you watch those five videos, if you do those problems in those five videos, you will figure out, you will master how to divide a num one number by another number without having to do the long division, which is what we did here. So we divided 562 by 2 without actually doing it out. This is number 5. But let me first give you the 
uh, the, the videos that you need to watch to, to do your division quizzes as I said those are labeled as division quizzes if I can find them that'll be wonderful there we go division quizzes there are five of them the 16 24 the 16 24 77 79 and 92 even if you do not even if you decide that you don't want to watch all five of them do at least one or two and you will get a hang of it and if you need more practice you can do more let's continue we are on, on problem number Five. Problem number five says 2.6336 divided by 0.32. Let's see what we can do. 2.6336 2 in, order, in order for us to convert this into a whole number, that's the idea, convert it into a whole number. In order for us to convert it into a whole number, we need to move this decimal we need to move this decimal, let's see how many spots, we need to move this decimal one, two, three, four places, we need to bring it here in other words, the only way we can move the decimal four places to the right is to multiply it by one with four zeros, one, two, three, four, that's ten thousand if we multiply top by ten thousand, we must multiply the bottom by ten thousand so that, that's quantity 2.6336 can be written as 2,636 2,636 divided by 10,000 so that's that part I'm going to raise this thing now and point 0.32 I need the room so we're going to erase this thing here we need the room and the division is going to it's just division here and 0.32 can be written as 32 over 100. Are you with me still? Now we know how to do our, we, we, we know, we've been doing it for a while now. This is, our, this is our fifth problem here. We know how to convert, when we are asked to divide one fraction by other fractions, we know that we can convert the division problem into a multiplication problem by simply taking the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this becomes 2,636, 2,000. Not 2,600 What the hell am I talking about? 26,000. 26,336 divided by 10,000. 10,000, which we're going to write, which we're going to write as 100 times 100. And you will see in a second, you will see in a second why we wrote 10,000. Why we wrote 10,000 as 100 times 100. You will see that in a second. And here we're going to convert the division into multiplication. And if we do that, we must take the reciprocal of the second fraction. 32 over 100 becomes 100 over 32. You still with me in this story? Stay with me in this story, okay? We see 100 on the top, we see 100 on the bottom. What do you know? That's probably why we broke it. There you go. It goes away. In other words, if you were to divide 10,000 by 100, we will knock out two zeros. If we knock out two zeros, it just becomes 100. That's what we have here. We are almost done. We're going to leave. We're going to leave this 100 alone. We're not going to deal with it. We're not going to mess with that 100. We're going to leave that alone until the very end because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we end up on the top. We can divide any number by 100 or a 10. We can divide any number by any multiple of 10. It's just a matter of moving the decimal places. So let's figure out what 26,336 divided by 32 is. Let's start from the top. So what we are trying to figure out now is 26,336 divided by 32. Twenty six thousand three hundred and thirty six. We have hundred at the bottom here times one over thirty two. Again, you have to know your divisibility, divisibility rule. In our divisibility rule, we learn that as long as the last two digits, as long as the last two digit of a number is divisible by four, then the number itself is divisible by four. One more time. As long as the last two digits, last two digits of 26,336 is 36. 36 is divisible by 4. 
4 9s are 36. Since 36 is divisible by 4, this entire number is divisible by 4. Now, if we did not know that rule, then we'll have to do end up doing in a baby step. We're going to start the process by dividing top and bottom by 2, and then 2 again, and then 2 again. It's going to take a lot of time. Instead, we can start dividing by 4. Let's divide by 4. How many 4s? I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. 2, 6, 3, 3, 6, over 32 times 100. It's the same thing. You see, 32 times 100 is the same exact thing. What we're dealing with right now is 32. How many 4s does 2 have? 2 has no 4s. 2 has no 4s. This is what we're talking about. This is what I was talking about the divisibility quiz. You learn how to divide without doing the long division. 2 has no 4s. That 2 goes and joins the 6 and becomes 26. How many 4s does 26 have? 26 has 6 4s. 6 4s are 24. Cross out the 26, put down 6, they have 6 4s are 24. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 3 and becomes 23. 23 has 5 4s. The remaining 3 goes and joins the 3 and becomes 33. 33 has how many 4s? 33 has 8 4s. 8 4s are 32. 8 4s are 32. After we use the 32 from the 33, we have a remainder of 1. That 1 goes and joins the 6 and becomes 16. And 16 has 4 4s. Since we divided top by 4, we must divide the bottom by 4. 32 divided by 4 is 8. Let's go one more round, divide by 4 one more time. Because 84 is divisible by 4. Let's divide one more time. How many 4s does 6 have? 6 has no 6 has 1 4 rather. 6 has 1 4. 6 has 1 4. The remaining the remainder 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25. How many 4s does 25 have? 25 has 6 4. 6 4s are 24. 6 4s are 24. The remainder 1 goes and joins the 8 and becomes 18. How many 4 does 18 have? 18 has 18 has 4 4. 4 4 is a 16. 4 4 is a 16. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 24 again. And 24 has 6 4s. Since we divide the top by 4, we have to, must divide the bottom by 4. If we divide 8 by 4, it becomes 2. Now we have to divide by 2. 2 dividing by 2 is very easy. 1 6 4 6 divided by 2. We divide by 2. 16 has 8. 16 has 8 2s. 4 has 2 2s. 6 has 3 2's. The answer is 823. 823. 823. But we are not quite done. I thought we were done, but we are not quite done. I almost forgot. This answer This answer is 823. But we mustn't forget that we are, being divide, we are dividing this quantity by 32 times 100. 32 is gone, but the 100 is not gone. 100 is not gone, so now we have to divide by 100. So it's finally, what we end up with is 824 divided by 100, which is why, which is why we were saving our 100. Remember we said that it doesn't matter what we end up on the top, we can divide any number by 100 very easily. It's just a matter of moving the decimal places two sparse to the left. So 823 is going to become 8.23. The final, the final answer which that we have is 8.23. That's it. But you have to be able to do these things without the calculator and you have to know this rule. Now, if I were doing it myself, if I were doing it myself, I wouldn't do I wouldn't have done it in a baby step like this. I simply would have divided in one shot by simply by eight. Instead of doing by four and four, we could have divided in one shot by eight and it would have worked. It would have worked. It's just that dividing by eight requires even more concentration because you have to know your table of eight. But that's what it is. That's what it is, it's a matter of concentration. What we did here is the same thing you will have to do in the long division method. We're doing it in our head and therefore it requires extra level of concentration. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.